So this is Ron, the owner of Mobile Fix Automotive, and today I'm working on a 98, uh, 99 F-150, 5.4, and uh, P0303. Um, Cylinder misfire on uh, cylinder three. There's our scanner readings. And I'll give you a brief history of what's going on. I don't have all the information I'd like from the customer, but I haven't got to do a video on just simple misfires yet, so I'm going to do this real quick. Um, this engine, when I fired it up this morning cold, customer dropped it off early, early this morning, way before I got here, and uh, tossed the key through the door. And uh, so when I first fired it up and it was cold, cool to the touch, it threw a bad misfire, 26 misfires per cycle for about three seconds. I mean, the engine was shaking really good. And then it smoothed right out. And I was like, okay, that is usually either a bad coil, usually, I'm not telling you every time. But usually it's either a bad coil or it can be a blown head gasket. Um, on this one, it's cylinder three, so there's no water jacket close by like there is on the one video where number one and number, uh, number one cylinder and the uh, crossover for the intake coolant are side by side, so if the gasket was to leak, you could get a, a misfire on that. Uh, however, now that the vehicle is completely warmed up, it's been running for 15 minutes, I'm feeling warm air uh, come past the fan shroud and the upper radiator hose is definitely uh, warm to the touch. Uh, so that's indication that the thermostat's open. We're now in closed loop and um, the misfires have kind of gathered and I'll show you the screen here again. If you're hearing the engine in the background, background noise, I apologize for that. But you can see the misfires are kind of erratic. They start, they go away, and then they come back and they start and they go away. But you see the black zeros on the left hand or yeah, the black zeros on the left hand side. Those are active misfires at this particular moment. You'll see the cylinder number three jumps to 13, goes back. Um, it'll jump to different numbers and go back, you know, 20, 13, 16, whatever. Um, those are misfires the computer picks up at that particular moment, but doesn't always pick them up, so it's a little confusing. So typically what I do in a situation like this, before I get into worrying about being a bad spark plug, low compression, or bad injector, is the easiest thing to do on these Triton engines is to swap two coils. In this particular case, it would be the number three and I did a blown spark plug on this for a customer a while back on number one. So the number one cylinder, you can see, has a, a Dento, my famous Dento coil on it. And I know that that's not misfiring. So um, if I take the number three out and put it in the number one spot, that misfire should switch to the number one cylinder. If it does, then I know I got a defective coil and all I got to do is just put a coil pack in it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pause this, I'm going to swap the coils, and then we're going to look at the scan tool data and see whether or not it's actually just a bad coil. So stand by. Okay, so now what I have done, um, and just to let you know, there's a couple of steps that I did. Unfortunately, I don't have a filmer, so I couldn't let them watch what I was doing. But I took the brand new Denso coil, that was on the number one cylinder I did the blown plug on a while back, and I put it on the number three hole, which is the third one back on the passenger side. That's the one that was showing the misfires. And I took the, the one that I suspect is bad, and I stuck it back in the number one hole, which is also easy to get to. So if it turns out to be a coil, it'll be relatively easy to fix. Now, one of the things that I did, uh, just to give you guys a heads up, when you pull a coil, out of a Triton engine, you need to have compressed air and an air blower handy because one of the things you're going to want to do is blow the, the hole out that the spark plug is sitting in, especially before you ever remove a spark plug. So step by step, what I just did mechanically is I removed the number three coil, 
I blew the hole out and checked to make sure that there wasn't any coolant or oil in the hole because one of the other problems that can happen is that leaky intake manifold gasket where the coolant will go down inside the cylinder hole and it'll cause the coil to misfire. So if you get excessive coolant in the hole, you suspect the intake manifold gasket. You can check my other video out for that on uh, engine misfire on Triton with leaky intake manifold gasket. Uh, the other common one that I see but not as much as the uh, coolant leak is when the valve covers leak and leak oil down into the spark plug holes. That will also foul the, the coil out. Um, so I blew the hole out. I checked with the bore scope, to, which is my camera that I use, to make sure there's nothing down in there, no, no oil, no coolant residue, and really there's, it looks like the plug's got a little bit of rust at the base of it, so I'm sure that water's gotten down in there over, the, over some time. And then I took a spark plug socket and I made sure the plug was tight. That's very important to do, make sure it's not backing out because that'll also cause a misfire if the plug is loose. So now that I've got it swapped, I'm gonna fire it back up. We're gonna let it idle for a minute and we're gonna check and see if the misfire went to number one. So stand by. So right now what I'm waiting to see is I'm waiting to see when and if the misfires reoccur, what cylinder they're gonna show up on. If it shows up on cylinder number three, then I still have an issue on cylinder three, and it's not a coil. If it starts to misfire on cylinder one, then I know that it is a, uh, a coil pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this truck warm up again until the coil gets nice and hot, and then I will resume recording and let you see where the misfires are at. Okay, so here we are few minutes later and we're still not showing misfires on one or three anymore but I want to bring something to your attention do you see cylinder number two has 13 the the number 13 right there in the lower left corner is how many misfires that it has counted through this cycle and you see the little red dips there's one two three four okay those are misfires that the computer has picked up and the reason I want to make that and importance to people is cylinder number two is that cylinder right there with the clear top. Like I said before, if you hear all the air in the background, it's because the engine's running. But one of the things I want to make you aware of is for those of you that think those coil packs that you get off the internet where you get eight of them for 30 bucks or 50 bucks, and I, I complain about them all the time, this is what happens. Yeah, it's firing the engine and it's not misfiring all the time, but that coil got replaced with either, <clears throat> more than likely it's a, it's either one off the internet or it's one from say like an O'Reilly or something. And all those China ones are just junk. The, they work, but they, but they misfire, uh, you know, secondary misfires a lot. So just keep that in the back of your mind. If you're not paying you know, 40, 50 bucks for a, a good coil. And like I said, the Denso 673-6000s are the ones that I put on. It's the only coil I'll install. And out of the eight years I've been using them, I've never warrantied one. I've never had one come back on me. And that's not to say they won't fail, but I've never experienced it. So my, you know, my rule of thumb for those of you that are following me, if I've never experienced a problem or if it's a very rare comeback, I always stick with what I use because why would you want to change if you're not having failures? So, we'll go back around here and I'm going to finish the video because we're not going to see a misfire and I'll, I'll explain why here in a second. But you'll notice cylinder number two is still. You know, now we got five lines. And every once in a while you'll see the big, the big. Uh, white number on the left hand side you'll see that switch to you know a 13 or something and it's just a misfire that the coil pack picked up so the what I feel is happening on this I feel this is a coil that went bad so I'm going to recommend to the customer that we replace the coil on cylinder number one now because that's where the bad coil went remember <clears throat> when I pulled the coil out of number three, the boot was really ugly. It was it was really burnt and kind of shriveled up. And uh, 
more than likely the boot was actually allowing spark to go between the coil and the cylinder head and not actually hitting the spark plug when it got hot. And because I messed with it or disturbed its slumber, so to speak, pulled it out and stuck it in a different cylinder, the boots probably moved around a little bit and it's, it's either sealed off the little hole that it made or something to that effect. Now you can put a boot, you can buy a boot kit for these coils and just change the boot. You know my recommendation, um, the coil's been on here for who knows how many miles, and um, it's definitely not a new coil, so it's been, <clears throat> it's been shooting, you know, 40, 50,000 volt spark over and over again for who knows how many million cycles. So for, you know, 55 to 65 bucks for a coil and the diagnostic, it's, for me, it's going to be better just to go ahead and put a new one in. So. For those of you at home, if you want to put a boot kit on it, uh, but this is kind of giving you an idea how I diagnose the misfires. And cylinder number one is completely clean now. It's been running for probably almost eight, eight to ten minutes. And uh, so, simple coil pack. So for those of you doing the engine misfires, do me a favor, like and subscribe my page. I'm trying to shoot more of these for everybody. I do everything kind of grassroots. Sometimes I get technical, sometimes I don't, but. Um, I can use all the followers I can get and uh, make sure you watch the commercials because that's the only kickback I get. There is a link at the bottom of all my videos to do a donation to me to help me out and for the few of you that have done that, I really greatly appreciate it. You know, five bucks, ten bucks, a hundred bucks, whatever you can give me. Um, I don't make a killing doing this, so, but I really want to pay back and share with you the knowledge I've gained over the last 36 years. So. Here's another Triton video, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a nice day. This is Ron with Mobile Fix Automotive, signing out.